the JVC GYLS 300, taking a closer look at the Swiss Army knife of 4K cinema cameras. <music> 2015 marked the release of the most 4K cinema cameras to date. Several have become industry standard, and one with high expectations is no longer made. The Aja Scion's physical layout, build quality, finishes, choice of materials, and sturdiness of Aja's proprietary media were all welcome in the world of cinematographers. But their sensor chosen for the Scion appeared to lack the performance, particularly in dynamic range, of its contemporaries. This, in turn, leaves other would-be camera makers dependent on what's available on the global market for imaging sensors. And it's quite common for sensor and camera manufacturers to sign exclusivity agreements as Ari and Red have done. The big two in digital imaging technology produce their own sensors. But in 2012, JVC Kenwood acquired AltaSense. AltaSense, founded in 2004, traces its earliest roots back to the original formation of the CMOS Imaging Sensors Group within the Rockwell Scientific Community in 2000, and in 2014 produced the first commercially available 4K sensor. And in 2015, along with the other Cinema 4K camera releases, JVC released the GY LS300, JVC's first cinema camcorder. At a release price of $3,495, the GY LS300 was one of the most affordable cinema cameras available, and although it boasted a super 35mm sensor, there were still some specs that fell short. But JVC has been as aggressive as any company with very impressive updates that have made the GY LS300 one very impressive and unique cinema camera that in 2020 can be purchased for less than $2,000. So, why should every videographer or filmmaker on a budget consider the JVC GY LS300? Because in essence, it truly is the Swiss Army knife of cinema video cameras and its feature set makes a good case for owning one. Let's take a look. As stated before, the GY LS300 has a cinema standard Super 35 CMOS sensor for wonderful depth of field and color resolution. A micro four thirds mount allows for the use of almost every lens using adapters. Natively lightweight MFT lenses, some with power zooms, are controllable with the zoom rocker. The GYLS300's unique feature, called Variable Scan Mapping, is a technology that adapts the camera's Super 35 CMOS sensor to provide native support of MFT, PL, and EF mount lenses, among many others. This feature alone makes this cinema camera unlike any other, and well worth considering, as the depth of field achieved with the Super 35mm sensor is still maintained. The GY LS300 records in Cinema 4K, 24p at 150 megabits a second, Cinema 2K, 24p at 50 megabits a second, 4K Ultra HD, 24, 25, and 30p at 150 and 70 megabits a second, 422 Full HD in 24p to 60p at 50 megabits a second all internally to affordable SDHC and SDXC cards with the ability to record two formats at once. The GY LS300 uses editing-friendly AVCHD and QuickTime formats and also records 120 frames per second in HD for smooth slow motion. There are accessible buttons to control iris, white balance, gain, shutter, auto and manual focus, a physical three-stop ND filter, and two-channel XLR phantom-powered audio inputs with a unique wireless removable handle and an included shotgun microphone. The version 2 update also includes a histogram display, a color matrix adjustment, 
Exposure Spot Meter, Black Paint Setting, Prime Zoom, which allows shooters using fixed focal prime lenses to zoom in and out without losing resolution or depth of field using the camera's hand grip zoom rocker. The LCD screen was also updated. The JVC LS300 outputs 4K Ultra HD at 5994p and 50p via its HDMI 2.0B port and through JVC's partnership with Atomos will operate seamlessly with the Ninja Inferno and Shogun Inferno monitor recorders, triggering recording from the camera's start-stop operation. Plus, when the camera is set to JLog1 gamma recording mode, the Atomos units will record the HDR footage and display it on their integrated 7-inch monitors. With a built-in HD streaming engine with Wi-Fi and 4G LTE connectivity for live HD transmission directly to hardware decoders as well as JVC Video Cloud, Facebook Live, and other CDNs, the JVC GYLS300 stands out as truly a one-of-a-kind 4K cinema camera. With a host of other features including full auto mode and focus assist features that work extremely well, the JVC GY LS300 is a vastly different camera than it was when it was released in 2015. And for $1995 for the body, there is simply no other camera that offers more for the money. But what is always the final determining factor for any cinema camera is the images it captures. Let's take a look at some recorded at 24 frames a second in 1920x1080 at 50 megabits a second.
Is the JVC GY LS300 the perfect camera? Of course not. No camera is or ever will be. It records only in 8-bit and the audio control dials are too small and recessed which makes them difficult to set. The viewfinder needs to be much better and the LCD screen needs upgrading with a smoother operating mechanism. While many have said the camera feels plasticky, it's made with high quality plastic that helps keep the camera's weight down. While the menu is not as intuitive and could use some polish, it's not as complicated as some. Considering its wealth of features and many other settings not mentioned here, like its insane battery life, time-lapse filming, and the ability to customize full auto mode settings, and a pre-record setting that allows for a full 15 seconds in case you were late pressing record, this camera for any filmmaker or run and gun videographer on a budget is one camera that should not be overlooked if your budget is under $4,000. Thanks for watching.